Kelly, you're so great in this. And it was so wonderful having been on the set to get to see this all put together. And I, you know, there's not a lot of, when I think about it, and I did a little research, there's not a lot of female magicians or escapologists. So how did you prepare for this one? Well, I studied Dorothy Dietrich a lot. She's a very interesting one. She was the first lady to catch a bullet between her teeth. And, um, and then I just looked at Harry Houdini and looked at all of his stuff and worked with David Kwong, our magic consultant. Yes. And... I, I tried not to think of the gender and just to treat her as a magic person rather than a magic lady. Did you find it real challenge? Because you, know, you really did go in that tank. Uh, I did. I didn't find that a challenge. Weirdly enough, I did so many crazy stunts in the movie, you know, suspended in wires, 100 feet in the air, or the tank with piranhas, but the scariest was just running in high heels. <laughs> I was going to ask you that because you uh, did do a lot of running in this movie. And uh, by the way, in New Orleans where there's like holes in the road and things and, you know, we were running on roofs and running on, you know, anyway, I found that nerve wracking. Yeah, because I think I, I think you told me uh, when I saw you earlier on when we did the set visit that you were not a runner when you were younger. That no, you, you... everybody always laughs at me. And I remember my first like week of drama class um, for an exercise, they, the teacher made everyone line up against a wall and then they made me run, you know, in front of the whole class to make everybody laugh. No, because I was studying clown school. No, it wasn't cruel, it was just That's to show bullying. that. I don't care. It was just to show that I had a funny run. But oh. yeah, I was nervous to run in this because I wanted Henley to be this sexy, you know, mysterious, enigmatic lady and not be some clown running up and down. Well, she was great. I loved watching her and I love the interaction with the guys. But, you know, working with all this testosterone, how did you hold your own with these guys? Well, I grew up with brothers. Like I had two, I've got two real brothers and I had two stepbrothers and another two stepbrothers. So I was in a house cram full of men. So I've always been able to, um, I don't know, I guess I just don't see them. I, I, I don't know, I, I felt totally at home. Yeah. How do you think magicians compare to actors? You guys are kind of similar, don't you think? I think magicians work way harder, they have better dexterity, and they have to think of the worst possible outcomes far more than we do, so they're actually, as a result, more prepared. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Yeah? Don't you? You're not prepared when you do your stuff? Come you on. You totally are. I mean, listen, I'm totally prepared when I do stuff, but at the same time, <laughs> once you're in the moment, in the scene, you want something to come out of it organically. You can't plan for that, whereas a magician is planning for every single reaction moment of the whole trick. Yeah, and is it hard to get past the deceiving thing? Because really, magicians are lying to us, and I don't. No, just I don't think that. I think that we're storytellers too. <laughs> Actors are storytellers. They're lying. We're telling stories. You know, you're either a storyteller in life, or you're, a, you know, you're a fact checker. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think that there's any deception. I mean, you want to be deceived. You want there to be mystery. You want to be bamboozled and surprised. Yeah. No, for sure. I agree. It's pure entertainment on both ends. Um, you are, you know, you're so great in everything that you oh, do. I just, you know, you. talked to you for Gatsby, and you were so awesome as Myrtle. You've got, you know, some other stuff coming up that Elmer. Leonard thing and, and you're gonna be a badass in that and how you know what is it with you how do you know when you get a script or what now that what you want to do um I you know I, I haven't had any scripts for a while actually so um, I'm not really thinking uh, I'm not I'm, yeah I'm not um I haven't been thinking about work at all, but I tend just to go on my gut instinct. It, there are logistics that have to meet my family's, you know, I, every, I don't I like traveling. I want to be in the same place, so that's tough. Um, and then obviously the director and the cast. But at the same time, I usually just get like a really strong instinct that says, yay, that makes my heart sing. I really want to play her and do this and do that. Or I get a very strong, nah. So I just go with that. Well, you do a great job. You're so wonderful. And thank always, you. always great to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is really great. You did a great job. Oh, uh, thank you. I would go you. see you. I think you should open a show in Vegas. What do you think? <laughs> I, that's not a bad idea. I, I wonder if contractually we can. Yeah. yeah we like, could get together. I'll see if Woody and Dave. We should do that. That would be so much fun. And I think Sasha should just be your opening act. Yeah, he can wear a bikini. I agree. There you go. We've got it all going. <laughs>